Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is Friday. It's a perfect day outside to do some upgrading or modification to my uh, minivan camper. Alright, let's go check it. As you can see it's still summer here 80 something degree right outside so i used to have this my 100 watt energy panel to uh, charge my uh, you know battery inside the house, the, my power station but since i got upgrade into in-house system with 1200 watt hour uh, capacity so i need more solar power to charge up so i bought another one even though on Amazon it says it's the same, but they are not the same. I will show you why. All right. And I still have a little bit of difficulty how to mount this on top of the roof. So I'm still figuring out how to make it look nice and flush. All right. I will show you what it looked like before and then after. But before I bring you up to the roof where the solar panel is going to be mounted, this is another upgrade. Uh, addition that I need to pull because ever since I mount my in-house battery up there there's a lot of weight there so whenever I stop the vehicle you know hard the bed tend to to move forward so what I did is I put two hook one of these uh, eyeball hook all you have to do is just drill the hole pilot hole and use a screwdriver and tie it in So you drill, have to drill a pilot hole in order to install this uh, bolt. So what you do, how you use force, it's hard to do. Uh, you can use a plier, but I just use uh, a little screwdriver like this and keep turning. If you tighten, you go this way, keep turning, loosen it up, turn this way. And I have two of them, one on this side and another one on this side. Same principle, make a pilot hole and then just screw in that eyeball and tighten out the rope. All right, this is how the original mount look like with one panel. So you can see I have room to put that clamp in, but with a second panel, it won't allow me to do that anymore. See how they two hole? I get clamp it down on that side also. And it perfectly fit. But since I have a second one, I will show you it won't fit right. All right, I will bring you back. All right, so this is how two panels look like up here. And you can see even though on the Amazon, they say they are the same, but they are not. This one only have 11 squared out that way, but this one has 12. So this is a better version, I guess. And you can see there's a little bit of gap here. So it's a little bit shorter than the older one. Plus now it's harder to mount this. You can see I barely have space to mount in that little, see that little hole right there? Yeah, it will be quite a challenge try to figure out how to mount this. But this will allow me to have 200 watt of panel on top of the roof. I will show you, you can barely see it on the roof. If I was to uh, paint that black, it completely blend into the roof. Here's another view on the side here. Yeah, it's pretty much flat. You, you probably, you can barely see on the, with the rail. Yeah, you have to really look for it to see it. So that is my plan to put two 100 watt panels. Since my system run on 12 volt, these two panels will be uh, mount parallel. So that way I get 1200. 12 volt with 200 watt coming in maximum. I'm lucky if I get 180 because you only get about 80% of it, 160. But that is what's going on with uh, my minivan camper upgrade. And by the way, my financial security just changed. So I no longer have to do DoorDash. So I will have spending more time traveling now and more slowly. So, all right. I'll catch you on the next video when I figure out how to mount this two panel um, 
still be safe. I don't like to leave them there permanently, but if I have to, I will. But if I can make a certain way that I can just remove them if needed. Because, you know, when the hail come down, if you have your whole panel, it might hit on it and you might, the panel might get damaged. So if I have a way to remove them quickly, and I will design that way. All right, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.